were in the market for a seven-seater SUV, you really only had three choices. It was the Toyota Fortuner, the Ford Everest, and of course, the Chevrolet Trailblazer. Well, the Trailblazer is now gone and has been replaced by the Pajero Sport. But you now have a fourth option, and that is this, the Suzu MUX. Now, the MUX shares a lot with the Trailblazer, but it is not a Trailblazer. It's more like a SUV version of the new Isuzu D-Max. But we'll get to all of that. Right now, we're on our way on a little bit of an adventure because we are going to tackle the same trail that we took a Trailblazer on a few years back and see how the MUX stacks up. Now the Isuzu MUX is powered by a 3-litre turbo diesel engine. It gives you 130 kilowatts and 380 newton meters. It's very similar to that of what you're going to find in the D-Max. Now as far as the performance is concerned, it's not going to get up and go anywhere really quickly, but it is very linear and there is a lot of torque. And I mean torque for days. I don't think this thing would have any trouble climbing any sort of mountain pass. Now you do have 230 mils of ground clearance and that is going to be incredibly helpful for where we're going. Now, as we said before, it is a seven-seater, so it has three rows. Drivers in front, passengers in the rear, and then a third row. Now, to be perfectly honest, the third row really meant for children. You're not gonna really get comfortably a bunch of adults in the back there. Now the interior of the MUX is a really nice place to spend some time. It's not overly luxurious, but everything is good quality. From the switch gear to the plastics, it's really, really good. Personal favorite though would have to be that all the touch surfaces are covered in a really good quality leather. Now of course, a lot of what you're gonna find inside the MUX is pretty much what you're gonna get in the D-Max, so it is really hard wearing. My personal favorite would have to be the 6.3 inch infotainment system with a touchscreen and Apple CarPlay. Well, we've just reached our turn off and uh, it's time to shift down into four high. And you can do this on the fly as long as you're under 100 kilometers an hour. You just go down to the dial, select four high and off you go. I think the best explanation I've received about this vehicle is actually from my passengers. They've described the MUX as uh, something of a rhino because once it gets going, it just won't stop. Now we have turned onto a relatively rocky off-road section. Uh, it's a gravel road, but you can barely call it that. And I have to say that the ride is incredibly compliant. Now, the MUX is fitted with all of the driver aids that you could need. There's ABS, traction control, EBD, uh, heel start assist. And one of the things that we are going to be using quite extensively on the other side of this pass is heel descent control. You can activate it from a little button here on the dashboard. Now I know this road relatively well and I know that there are sections of it that we are definitely going to be needing four low. And in order to shift into four low, you will need to stop, put it into neutral, engage four low and then drive off. But it is an adventure.
Now the Isuzu MUX actually does share quite a lot with the Isuzu D-Max, namely the giant chrome grill and the self-leveling by Xenon headlights. It does share a bit of a silhouette with the Trailblazer, but know this, it is not a Trailblazer. The Isuzu MUX is Isuzu all the way through. The Isuzu MUX comes in with two different derivatives. There's the base model, the 4x2, which comes in at 568,900 Rand. And then there's the four-wheel drive model, which we have here at 629,100. With that, you get the five-year, 120,000 kilometer warranty and roadside assistance plan. And that is what makes the Isuzu MUX the perfect family adventure mobile. Now, if you excuse me, I have a picnic to get to. I hope you guys didn't eat all the biscuits.